Have you done that cardboard tube trick? <laughs> that thing? Do we have a cardboard? No, yeah. we don't have a cardboard tube, Calvin. Calvin, we don't have a cardboard tube. Calvin! 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 Okay. It's supposed to sound like a lion. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> sounds great. He's dude. What a great way to start our video. Hey, everybody. Crew Blind Wave. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with episode four of Under. Last time on, we met Luthen. Luthen met Ander, and uh, they have flown, flown off into the sky. They have flown off. They have flown off, and uh, many desserts into the sky. You ever had flan? I haven't. I don't know if I've had flan. Yeah, I've had flan. Mm. It's great. Mm. This is exactly what I wanted to talk about. Mm. Good. Previously, we didn't have any polls or anything. No, we didn't nope. have to talk about. It was just Andor, and there was a lot of uh, like three episodes of really kind of setting up. Mm -hmm. I guess kind of where he is currently. Yep. And how he's getting into this spy business, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take a larger, a first step into a larger world, right? Mm. As we, uh, as Obi Wan would Man, say. Man, that sounds familiar. Or it's a huh. damn full cru crusade. Well, what is else did he is say? This from Indiana Jones? No, it the is not. The last crusade. The damn it fool is... crusade? Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. Sean Connery said that one. He thought he would. You're call damn Obi -Wan. fool. He said, damn. Oh, that's not my Sean damn Connery. Damn fool. Um, idealistic crusade. That's what it is. Idealistic crusade. I got it eventually. Let's get in. Get to the chopper. To this. Is that what we're talking about? So, sure. Anyone behind us, except for old Donnie. Madari. Who? Do as I say. Calculations complete. Oh, I'm just dead. Um, there you are, with your skin. What's that? Med nog. Med nog? Just a sip. Huh. Have Medical for... eggnog? Yeah, that for Christmas. No. My dad has one of those flasks. I'm offering you everything you want, all at once. What is everything I want, since you know so much about me? To put a real stick in the eye of the Empire. Oh, man, ah. I, I had a stick in my eye this year. I know. <sighs> Means something. It doesn't suck? <sighs> so we're going to do the Empire, Eric. All right. I know the outside. I know what people tell me when I ask. For the rest I imagine, I imagine your hate. I imagine that no matter what you tell me or tell yourself, you'll ultimately die fighting these bastards. Oh, man. So what I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once to something real and <laughs> carve off useless pieces to this nothing left? Ow! The hype is in my knee. I don't risk my ass for the Starbeth unit. You risked it for you. you. Dude, Cassian like saves the fucking galaxy with He does! <laughs> I like that he's like, you'll Ugh. die fighting these bastards, you know? It'll mean something. What would we be stealing? The quarterly payroll for an entire Imperial site. The quarterly oh, shit, payroll. Dude, info, man. Spy shit. Great that, music. I'm so That's so descent right there. It's like, ah, man. It's like we just saw the prologue. Corson! Oh, we're a Corson! Capital of the galaxy. Wow. It's for seeing Coruscant again. Ugh. And not like the bullshit out of the Ursa's window in Rogue One. <laughs> I open the question to the room. What do we do in this building? Why are we here? Anyone? We're here to further security objectives by collecting intelligence, providing useful analysis, and conducting effective covert action, sir. Very good, Dedra. That Dedra. is verbatim from the ISB mission statement and <laughs> wrong. Wrong? <laughs> We are healthcare providers. We treat sickness. We identify symptoms. Oh. Sickness. The rebellion. She's gonna hate this idea to start. She's gonna argue with me. <laughs> She's gonna give me. It's best you stay inside. I'll have had time to work it out. Oh no, is she gonna try and kill him? <laughs> She's gonna argue with me at first. Take this. Is it a kyber crystal? It's blue. It's blue on one end. I wouldn't expect it to be. It's a down payment. It's a Quati signet. Signet. Quati. Ancient world. Okay. It celebrates yeah. the uprising against the Rakatan invaders. Rakatan? Huh? The Rakata from the National Republic? Yeah. Not look happy. <sighs> He's gonna have to take off of this shit if I took it. <clears throat> He's got steady nerves and he's not afraid to kill. I can't believe you're doing this. You're pilot. 
We go in three days. It increases your chances of success dramatically. And they got a job? The stealing of the you know, money? Your odds have improved since we set the meeting. You'll take him in and lie about how it's come to pass. You plug him in as a replacement for anyone who goes down along the way. In the next three days, if for any reason... Look at me! <laughs> you wanted to lead. This is what he comes to. And if he's the problem? Well, that's the advantage of renting him. He's disposable. Oh, fuck, man. He yeah. So cool. He's just yeah. using him for what he needs. It's very sawish, I think. I think he's a man of his word, but also, like, he won't suffer a fool. Sure. The goal is to hit the Empire, you know, regardless of the stakes, right? Yeah. You will immediately relinquish any and all comlinks, weapons, and scandocks. You will not return yeah. to your living quarters. ISB court. came in because of the... You will leave here and be escorted with haste. Oh, dude, that guy's gonna yeah, say that. Yeah, dude, his, his boss. Take solace in this. You will not be replaced. You've rung the final bell on corporate independence. As of this morning, the Milana system is under permanent imperial uh, authority. Ah, uh, no more corporate yeah. security people. It's because. not private. They're sniffing out that small amount of rebellion, you know? Yep. They're gonna squash it out. Seven against the garrison! Save your wind! This is a long walk. Hey, hold on, hold on. Get down, tuck in! Nazgul! Oh my gosh, it's so loud! Man, yeah, it's like a Nazgul rider Ooh. above in the yeah. air or something, right? I work on my tie impression when I drive sometimes. Yeah. With my, I put the accelerator down. <laughs> you have the window down and you <laughs> drive by. Someone's walking like, the fuck was that? Sound like a tie fighter. Cool shot. How often do we see it from that far away? Not very often. With a panic shot. Dynamic protocol 037. Protocol 037. Production is so high, man. No, it's so cool. He's got a fake wall. Man, I want fake walls in my house. Yeah. Huh. It's all of his shit. Hot towel. Oh man. Different hair. That's cool that he has his fake hair for when he's not doing strenuous shit. That makes so much more sense. Yeah, instead of putting on fake hair to go do. Yeah, Some and then like things. you do like an action roll cool thing and it falls off. And it falls off. It's like, hey, wait a minute, Senator! Yeah. <laughs> Senator! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, wow, he's getting into this character. Is so great. This is some Batman Bruce Wayne shit right here. It is. Who is it? That's what I was gonna ask you. <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> That's the most metal sheep. I've ever seen. They're so horny. <laughs> now, unless you two want to be chasing animals all day, I'd get out there now. Okay? Let's get to it. We'll work Clem into the program at drill. They don't like it. They have a dynamic. They, they like the dynamic. Trust issues. <laughs> wow. Look at that ship. It's like an airport. Yeah. It probably is an airport that they dressed. I mean, sure. Why not? <laughs> like, look at, look this at that screen. Dis big display screen. That's definitely an airport. Yeah. It's probably in Shanghai. Where's everything looks futuristic in Shanghai? I feel like we've never seen airports like this in Star Wars. So he we've got seen he got Coruscant. fired, right? And then back to Coruscant. He got fired. Didn't Karn get like let go? Is that who that was? was Karn? Yeah. I think so yeah. All right, down. Sub level? Mm -hmm. 13 13. I'll tell you what, he's not skipping home. <laughs> I've never seen anybody walk slower. I know. Uh, Is this his parents or something? I don't know. Mother. Oh. Okay. He's committed. I'm feeling that. I want to. Feel what? Which guy? That guy? His belief in the cause. When it comes down to it, that's all I need to know. Bell. Bell! I trust him. Man, she doesn't know. She's okay. just saying it though. Yeah. Well, she knows he's getting paid, so 
it's not that he believes he's doing it for money. Mm. Here. Senator Mon Mothma's here. Yes! <laughs> how true, and how I need to hear that. You know, Claire. Well, of course. We often refer to the gallery as Corazon's unofficial temple of patience. Well, I have to start covering your weapons. Well, There's Mandalorian armor back there. It did look like it, yeah. If I recall, he has an interest 100%. in military artifacts. Yes. So let's start with the oldest one. Yep. It's a Utapowan monk cudgel. Utapowan, yeah. It's a unique gift for most, but Whoa. it's a treasure for the true aficionado. I found someone I think can help me. Hmm? Someone who? To bring into the circle? No. I know what I'm asking. No. We're vulnerable enough. Oh, so you can bring people in, but she can't. Don't lecture me on vulnerability. No one's more at risk than I am. You think I haven't thought this through? I'd be the first one to fall. Mm. <clears throat> so, she's so who well might it be? Might it be Leia? Oh. It's a daring choice. But I trust you'll have the courage to turn back. It should be a bit much. I appreciate that. Aaron, does that look like Starkiller's helmet? And he goes to the dark side back oh, there. Man, I need to look again. I didn't think about that. It has that. the same shape as like Vader's cowl. I mean, it's, it's most, it was very resembling of Vader. I think it's that exactly, one right there. That, looks that is exactly a lot like it, yeah. fucking Sam Witwer's helmet. When he goes to the dark side, and it's not there anymore, and they did it, and Calvin and just ah <sighs> no why <laughs> police. <laughs> Smooth bike. Is this number yeah. seven? This must be number seven. And where's he been? Or she? It. They. Yeah. The droid. Oh, no. We got a cape. Cool. We have an extra uniform. Gonna need to leave us your belt and gloves. Clem. We so need another hand, insider. and you know it. We should have been yeah. consulted. On that, we agree. She's doing a good job. Clem defending what she does not want to happen. Yeah. The Empire came in 13 years ago and liberated the airbase Alkenzi, 50 clicks west of here. They quickly discovered the unique storage possibilities of the caverns, claimed the land for the Emperor, and dammed up Nas McLean, the sacred river. Okay. Val said you could pilot. Fly a runner? The box freighter? It's not really flying, but yeah. <laughs> Behind the flight deck, that's a vault. We're taking crates of payroll from that room, loading the freighter, and escaping out of the runway tunnel. Do we do a heist? You'll be lucky to make the horizon. It's a suicide run. Exactly. That's why they only keep a 40-man regiment in the garrison. Mm -hmm. Because they know no one's stupid enough to try it. No one but us. Hmm. Punisher! Yeah. He's the guy from Punisher! Yeah. Oh, fuck. It took me so long. <laughs> We'd hike for weeks to get here just to see it from the sacred land. To see what? Imagine 50 meteor showers all at once, but like a curtain being pulled across the sky. That's why they had such a hard time limit. We've calculated an escape trajectory that gets us out just before the eye closes. That's amazing. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Are you in all the way? That's what she said. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> What a cool plan. I mean, we've heard also it's not going to go the best, but... Sir, it is my feeling that this is part of an ongoing effort to steal proprietary Imperial equipment in anticipation of an organized rebellion. I have three previous case files on my desk that begin to suggest a pattern. Alert me when this materializes into something more definite. Until then, confine future activities to your sectors. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rono Freighter specs and the console layout. You get done with that. That's a detailed map of the garrison. That's an Aldani phrase book. Can I eat my food? You'll eat, you'll let Cinder check the bandage, and you'll have learned all that by morning. I'll take the first watch. Man, all that by morning. Get much sleep. Is she from The Walking Dead? I don't know. Maybe. Damn oh it. man, it's over. I'm excited to see this thing.
Okay, this was a fun episode. It was. I mean, it, it's. I feel like we're doing a similar pattern of like, you do the setup. Yep. Here's what we're going to be yep. having. Here's the action episode, yep. and then we kind of reset again. This, you know? Yeah, this sure. is the first episode of the next arc. Yeah, that's yeah. What it feels like. Yeah. Like we're, here's the heist. Yeah. Now we got to prepare for the heist. Now the heist goes wrong, and here's the outcome. Like guys, I watched what. Seven seasons of the Clone Wars to get to this. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready and willing. I want to see more, man. Yeah. I really like this rebel group here that are just like obviously they are so afraid because like Mon Mothma said, they are spies everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. She's talking about like everyone's been replaced. Yeah. Even her driver, like she doesn't know if she can trust her driver and stuff Remember? too. So like, yeah. I really want to see more with Mon Mothma. Mon yeah. Mothma is a character that's like been around for so long, but has had so much like. So little screen time. I know. So little information. I feel like the most she got was in Rebels, really. Yeah. You know? I agree. I didn't know she had a husband. Yeah, yeah exactly. No. Like, it makes sense that she sure. probably did, you sure. know? But the fact that she does, like, yeah. I knew nothing about that. Bale has a wife. She yeah. has a husband. Sure. So. I am interested to see or to know who she was interested in bringing in. Yeah. Sure. Like bring um, into this like much more dangerous circle. Uh, yeah. I mean, I imagine Bale is there already, but maybe she could bring be bringing him into Luthen's circle. Like the maybe. thing is that you have all these little tiny cells, right? Sure. And They're all circles yeah. that only slightly overlap. But we don't have the alliance. What, what do we know about uh, Dodonna before? Jan Dodonna? Before um, he was involved in the rebellion. Was he ever like a senator? Or was I, I know he's a general there. Mm-hmm. But like, was I mean, he a general before as well? Was he military or yeah. was he political? Yeah, like I don't know. Into Donna might be like cool. we've seen Akbar mm-hmm. on on Mon Cal, right? Yeah. Where he was captain. Yeah, we haven't seen. We saw Jan Dodonna in Rebels. I think that's the earliest I've seen. What about unless there's expanded universe stuff? What if it's not like Dodonna? What if it's a, and I don't know what his name is, but in Rogue One there is a guy who like Cassian seems to report to, and he's the one who's like, you got to kill Galen, Draven. Draven? General Draven. Like, what yeah. if it's like him? Because he seems a little bit yeah. more, uh, you yeah. know, like... There's like, hey, I know that we all said about bringing him to the, you know... Because Mom Moth was like, hey, bring Galen Urso and we'll to the Senate and we'll prove it. And he's like, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe he's one that could be brought in and, like, Draven. that connects Cassian and yeah. him together. Or that guy has too. a great voice from yeah. Rogue One. Yeah. Liana Hollock. Crimes yeah. against the Empire. Yeah, really. And good. I think it's an easier one too of like yeah. you can probably get that same guy from Rogue One okay. and use him as yeah. opposed to like um if you know, if we saw Yalaren, like you have to recast Yalaren most will. likely. Yeah. I would figure I don't figure they're gonna do like a target and, and or he, anything. And he, you know. I wouldn't want him to speak because I only want him to sound like Tom Kane. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand <laughs> that time. So like you know, there's different people like Dodonna, like yeah. I guess they had a younger Dodonna in Rogue One, right? He, slightly. Or another I mean, Dodonna, I suppose. Like uh, yeah, he was played by the dude from Game of Thrones. Uh 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 the the King's Guard that went to be with Daenerys. Why am I forgetting his name right now? Oh the cool Baron whatever dude? Barrick no, not no. Barrick Dondarian. Um Sir Anyway, he played uh Dodonna. So maybe you could get him. Like I'm just trying to think like you bring some stuff from Rogue yeah. One, you bring him back in and stuff, yeah. and that could be cool. Barris and Somi. Yeah. Oh, so I was close to the buff. You were. I just, you were. There's, two, there's two Baron people. Dude. Baron and Barrick. I, I, yeah. I'm, I don't. Because Barristan. there are so many characters in this show already. Like, we're four episodes in. I bet you we could have a character list of 50 people. What? No, I just had another really awesome idea. Okay. Get Sindula. Hera. Hera. Uh, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, where uh, Rebels ends and stuff. You know she's there. They talk yeah. about General Sindula and Chopper is there. Don't do this. That sure. would be so cool. I know, but don't uh, do this. Phoenix Squadron? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But the idea is, like, there's so many people she could be like, hey, I want to bring someone in. And he's like, no, but that would be really I mean, cool. We, we, we do dreams. hear... They're dreams. Sure. We do hear uh, Sindula, General Sindula in Rogue One. Yeah, you hear that, that and round. you see Chopper. You're like, So, like, yeah. she has to get involved in there. And with Mon Mothma, she has connections to Mon Mothma. But Mon Mothma doesn't seem to really be involved with the rebellion side of things yet. I don't think she's part so, of the like, military. This might be earlier on. Like, she might... Hera might still be with the whole ghost yeah. crew and stuff. So. Yeah. No, Mon Mothma here just seems like she's just passing on information to people that can take more risk than she can, yeah. right? Yeah, she's so, still fighting as hard as she can. This may be a little too early for that, but that'd be so cool. Would be very cool. Maybe there's a time jump. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> have a fright for shooter with long hair. God, I'd love it. That'd be great. No, 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 we can't do that. I, it's not. I think the, the strength of the show is that 
everything's been new. Everything's been fresh. Sure. Everything's sure. And the production is just like it's so on point. It makes the other shows look bad. In, by comparison, I think like it just looks so good. Gotcha. Um, I'm I'm excited because like this week I'm gonna be starting a rewatch of Mandalorian, Mandalorian. And stuff. And yeah, going sure. going through that um, with the family and stuff and seeing like comparing like how this looks yeah. to how that looks where that is all volume. Yeah. You know, uh, like, I'm, making I'm it look bad is the wrong phrase. Uh, this is way more ambitious. Like this is demanding more from its screen than Mandalorian did. I think. Like to mm. just like we're seeing. Coruscant. We're seeing sure. all this crazy stuff, and then like just the locations of the Highland is so amazing. No, we're yeah. going to more places. Yeah, we're going to more places. We have a huge cast of characters, and every actor brings it. I just kept thinking like the guy that Skeen. I kept seeing Skeen and being like, I know this guy, and I love this guy, and I can't think of where. And it would bother me until just immediately it hit me. Micro from Punisher. Micro. <sighs> That's micro. Micro. Hmm. Imagine him with longer, longer hair. hair. Yeah, but his face—I was just—I know him. Yeah. At first, I was like, "Wait, do I know this guy from like Rogue One or something? Why do I know him? Why am I so sure. immediately excited? Why is he so familiar?" <laughs> yeah, I believe he was Skeen. There was Vel Skeen, Tamari Namek, and Senta, and then I didn't catch the name of the uh, the the sixth guy, the um, Imperial, Gorn. Gorn. Yeah, Lieutenant Gorn. Gotcha. But no, we have a, we have a heist crew. Unfortunately, I, I don't want to say unfortunately, but the plan was really cool. I love the idea that they timed it to this uh, like heavenly body event that's going to happen sure. because like it's like planning a heist in Marietta during the Sturmo fireworks. I yeah. get what you mean. Like this one, happened when I was once a, kid, a year. You need to do it at just this time. Yeah, I know this is not going to sound great, but when I was a kid, like right. I don't know, the probably 16, like right when I got my license, like the first year, I remember with one of my buddies in my car and we just drove through every red light we came to through Marietta because there was nobody out. Really? No car on the road because the fireworks. They were all right watching there. the fireworks. No one gave a No anything. one gave a shit. Hmm, like we didn't even see anybody. Like whenever they were talking about that, I thought of that. The fireworks that we had, we have a very, very, very small town. But honestly, the fireworks show that it just happened a week or two ago. Yeah, last it's one of the, weekend. It's one of the biggest fireworks shows in the country. And it's pretty amazing. Hmm. But everybody goes down. At least before the COVID, everybody went down there. It was like a whole like town yes. thing. You yeah, know? before the COVID. Yeah, so I kind of thought about that whenever they were talking about, hey, this is why we have this three-day thing. And it's why they're so nervous. Because if there's any indication or any uh, mess up, all it's going to take is an imperial... That's doing this to do this. Yeah. You know? He's got to turn their head and they'll find you. That's a cool plan, but it's risky as fuck. Mm-hmm. And I like how Cassian goes from like, what, you can, you cannot, you cannot do this? You know? Yeah. To he's like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I love the idea of a heist. I think yeah. it's really cool. Um, but I'm really curious, too, on like Cassian's, like Cassian being here, but also like the little bits we got of him talking about, like he went to Mimbin. Yeah, that he came from basically prison straight yeah. to the mud, but only fifty people survived. Yeah, but then the other guy starts being like, "You were a cook and you ran away." Yeah, and Cassian's like, oh. very good at like nudging truth around, which is gonna make for a fantastic spy. Sure. Yeah, like enough of the truth. Like right? he's literally like a almost like a spy in this rebel group right now, right? I mean, he's a sure. he's a con man. He's clever. Yeah. yeah. And they're gonna steal the quarterly payroll of the imperial sector. The entire imperial sector. sector. Yeah. It just all that is, all that risk just for information to get, you know, to organize, really, right? To like, you know, they're going to see where money's going. And if you have quarterly information like that, you might be able to see like, hey, there's a huge amount of money going somewhere. Huh. And where, okay. is that, where, where might that go? I thought they were just going to steal money and then use that money to bankroll like the rebellion. I guess they did say 200,000, but I thought that would be data too, like the payroll. Probably, yeah. You know? It could well, be both. But yeah. like, I'm maybe, sure there's inte- yeah. there's other things than just the money in that vault, yeah. but intelligence would be far more useful at this stage, but also just yeah. just having the capital that that uh, Mon Mothma doesn't have to bankroll mm-hmm. everything, that would be so helpful. It would be. Yeah, and it comes straight from the Empire. Yeah. I, I just think that it might be fun to 
as they're like going over the money and the data they got, they might be like, hey, there's a huge discrepancy here. What's taking all these resources, right? Because the Death Star is a secret from everyone. Sure, yeah. And I think it'd be cool to have like little tiny, obviously you can't go too far into it. Sure. But, you know, Cassian is the one that Tivik in, in Rogue One will contact and say they're making a weapon. It's a planet killer, right? Sure. Well, like even, uh, like there, there are different things the Empire is working on, yeah. right? And in Rebels, we learn like, oh, well, here's what... You know, here's what they're doing on Lothal with yep. this secret high defender program. Mm -hmm. Krennic's working on his thing. We got to beat him on this, right? Yep. So like, there are programs that they're working on, and then we get into Rogue One, and they're like, "Oh, here's this." Yeah, this Saul was dark finding, saber, and Rebel Saul was finding the giant kyber crystals that they were mining. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which led towards them finding mm -hmm. the, for the yeah, Death they, Star and stuff. They blew so. that one up. But yeah. like, like a payroll just might be like, "Hey, where's all this labor going?" Or something. I don't know. It could sure. be. They might find a lot more yeah. labor pay than what they were expecting. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really think about it that much. Uh, That's I, was I was thinking, thinking more of like, "Oh, we money. get money and we bankroll for getting like now we can get our base up up and running. Yeah. You know, we can Maybe. get power or whatever we need to get. I don't sure. know what all they need to buy necessarily, but yeah, weapons. <clears throat> I just love how sm like. Every, you know, it's a very ambitious show, but I love how small everything is. Even like a meeting between uh, uh, Mon Mothma and, and Luthan like, is like a secret backdoor meeting sure. in the back. So they're just like, what do you have to get done? You know? yeah. And they just like, he goes from like, yes, I'm just seeing him. What the hell are you doing here? You know? <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, man. Um, we also, I don't know if we wanted to go back to what we talked about before, but there's the blue kyber crystal thing that he brings up. And yeah. he also <laughs> talked about the Rakatan. Which I thought yes. was, yeah. Like, Eric, you said about it in there, but mm -hmm. it comes from Old Republic. Ricotta stories. Empire from Nice Old Republic, right? Uh, from that game, I think, is when the first time they were ever mentioned. And then I, we've yeah. had, uh, like, a Ricotta design before. Like, hey, that kind of looks like a Ricotta. But yeah. This was, um, I've had some Ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese is very good. Yeah. yeah. Sprinkle that on some spaghetti or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But in the old EU, the Ricotta Empire was something that came about way, way before sure. the Republic or the Old Republic, like yeah. long, long time ago. They had these really cool things called like these star maps that would lead you to what was called the Star Forge. And it was this giant space station that's a factory that would just like eat up shit and spit out fleets. <laughs> it was really cool. That sounds cool. But uh, they were like a slave empire, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. They ran a lot of automated stuff though too, but now that it's just like this episode especially had you know had those. I already got the, the the pistol, so I'm happy with that. But it had that, and then it had like some Mando armor in the back. Sure. Here. here, let me open the Star Killer like helmet thing here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do if that. we could find that shot of that statue, because that is, I'm pretty sure that is straight up uh, Star Killer's dark side helmet. So. In the Force Unleashed, you have a choice at the end of that game to make. If you make the bad choice, you're encased in armor kind of like Vader is, and you get this helmet. And uh, boy, howdy, is it not the exact same helmet. Maybe slightly colored differently. Yeah, I don't know when the best shot of it shows It's though. when they come back out, but this isn't bad here. Yeah, that's... That, that was okay. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's there's okay. One in the, there's one in the back room as well. I think they walked past it. I haven't played Force Awakens in so long. Yeah, it's weird to play a movie. Yep. I do that all the time. Damn it. <laughs> I had to do it a little bit. Do you? Damn. Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you can really see it there. Aaron, you got a picture up? Yeah, I do. I was hoping for anything that's right a little better. There is pretty good. Like, that's this is... It. The mask that we have, and that's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent. Now the armor, look, no. I'm trying to look right here. Yeah. But the rest of that looks very similar. It has the yeah. same kind of like it's like a Shredder, Darth Vader kind of mask. It has the thing, same you know? kind of mouthpiece as um, Leia's Boosh. bounty hunter yeah. Boosh. Yeah. Boosh. But yeah, that cowl and the two Boosh. circular yeah. things Boosh. over the ears. Yeah. Let me see so if there cool. there might be a closer <laughs> shot later up of just her. <laughs> Yeah, I can yeah. see from here. Like, yeah. Totally, yeah, you have the lines. You have the, the visor, yeah. the shape of the helmet. Like, this the shit's gold. all fucking. That's different. Whatever yeah, that yeah sure. the headdress, not That's so That's redressed. Much, if I was Sam Whitworth, I'd be so fucking tickled right now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah, there I am. <laughs> like, why is uh, that there, you know? What's that mean? They look, have, at, uh, look at this other headdress on the right. Yeah. The one that scales. Did they say that one was Utapalan, or was it? 
Like, uh, I know that thing is, but that is, is that yeah. also? I don't know about I don't, that. I don't know about that. I mean, that... That looks different. It's really long, and the Powans have the big, long heads, like the sure. Grand Inquisitor, right? Uh, I, the Powans have that. The Utai are, like, the little shorter guys that, like, fill up your ship. It also, me think, um, it also sure. makes me think of uh, the little guys that the Emperor has that look like... They're like the weird The dignitaries? Dudes. Yeah, like yeah. those guys. Mm-hmm. They have always have, like, long... Yeah. Hats or whatever. They do. Sure. Um, like the headdress. I don't heads. really notice it too much, but in Return of the Jedi, there's like one of those guys that like the Emperor is like talking to. There's two people. I don't know who the hell they are, but one guy really reminded me of what was his name? Is it Malcolm McDowell who voiced in the Inner oh, Rebels? Yeah, sure. With the, the mm-hmm. between the worlds, like there's that guy. Yeah. It really reminded me of that guy. It's yeah. always not not not, not that no. guy, but it reminded me of I get you. those people. Yeah, I used to know those guys' names when I was studying Star Wars. The two Wars. guys that yeah. are in that room? Yeah. Like, I, they're just there, and then you never see them again. Yeah, well, there's there's two there, but when the Emperor gets off the ship, there's six. Oh, is there six like there? Them, I don't yeah. remember. I didn't, I yeah, those he guys. has, like, six of them and six Royal Guards. Hmm. All right. There is a great shot of the Mandalorian armor, but yeah. look at what the mouse is pointing at. Oh, that's a Tantori. Is yeah. that what it's called? Tantori. That's a chicken. Uh, Tandori. Tandori. Tandori chicken, yeah. Uh, it, um, it's a... A Twi'lek uh, thing, right? Uh, ca- ca- it's something like that, Can Cory. Can Cory? Con Cory? Con Cory. So we're looking at it right here at 2913. Uh, from Star Wars Rebels fans would recognize Hera, who we were just talking about, has one of these and adds significant things to the It has to do with their history. family tree and lineage yeah. and stuff like that, too. Yeah. But the Con Cory? Can Cory? Cali Cory. Cali Cory. Cali Cory from Star Wars Rebels. So, Calvin fucking good hit, man. That's great. Yeah, it looks a lot like one of those. Oh, and roll up if I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you guys didn't see the Cali Cory? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wonder, like, what ties of any of this stuff yeah. towards anything, you know? If sure. Can, uh, there's, like, a weird horn thing. Does that have any... Yeah, that really this sense. looks like a bantha horn. Yeah, or something. Ewoks you know? blowing those shit, fucking goats you know? that we saw. Burr, 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 burr. Those goats that we saw had oh, like those, six horns. Those horny goats you are amazing. Were, I love those goats. You guys were so excited for those goats. We're yeah. farmers, dude. You know why? You're because it, it, it creates that. It, it's again that tradition of us just up animals like aliens. You know, the bantha is just an elephant in the desert. Even those uh, core, uh, those those hounds that we saw are just dogs with these like. Things over them, you things know. On them. And uh, we also had the Ob- Obex or Orex, uh, the horses in episode nine were also just horses with like prosthetics put on. Mm-hmm. Or not prosthetics, like a costume put on. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at him. Yeah. He's like he's got a spider on his head. Yeah, he's they're like, like goth goats, man. It's crazy. Like they're like they're at the goth table at high school. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing this. Like they shepherd you. <laughs> <laughs> That was embarrassing to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Um, I really, really liked the uh, ISB scenes with, um, I think, uh, Partagaz was the main guy who mm. was the, the maester <laughs> from uh, Game of Thrones. Sure. Yeah. Um, like his description of what the ISB is and stuff. Yeah. I really loved that, especially. Like, we are not... Security. Security is an illusion. Sure. We're all healthcare providers. We're keeping the body of the empire yeah. healthy by stomping out the germs of a rebellion. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. kind of like how Smith idea? talks the about infection. humanity, right? right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. There are yeah germs. It's the there smell. Are, it's the smell. If there is such a thing. The, a virus, right? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <It's> gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's an interesting idea of a way to look at it. We yeah. are not security, and it's all an illusion. And yeah. like, okay, I understand that. So we are to hunt out and find this stuff. Which the one girl's trying to do, and they keep yes. stopping her. And he even like hung a lantern on the sexism of the empire too. Like a he said, bit. he like he had like a line in there where it's like, we know you're not part of our normal cast. And if you see that giant table, that round table they were at, she was the only girl. girl. I think so. I didn't. There, 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 I wasn't there was looking. One other female officer, in there. but it's not much. And right? there's no. no aliens, right? They're all humans. All it's humans. very xenophobic. xenophobic. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was one of the things with like Admiral Th- uh, Thrawn. Thrawn yeah. having. Such a high command because mm-hmm. he's also a chiss. Grand yeah. Admiral. You know? Yep. Yeah. So, but he also had a, has a very close relationship with the Emperor. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, the Emperor sees value in him. Sure. Yeah. Like, it's, it's interesting because, like, in the, in the new canon books and stuff, when they find him, like, he's, like, just on a planet doing shit and, yeah. like, causing problems for the Empire. And then people take him to the courtesan to, like, be punished and all this stuff. Yeah. And the Emperor's like... I like this guy. You know, like, that's literally how he finds him. It's like, yeah. this one guy caused all this trouble, 
Let me talk to him. <laughs> yeah, he's part of like the Chiss Ascendancy or something like that, which is its own little kind of faction in the in the unknown regions or something mm-hmm. like that. But I want to get into. I, I yeah. read Heir of the Empire where he was introduced. So I never read that one, but, but you, I, I you started. Been out? I started the first Thrawn book a while back. That's cool. And then like we started doing more Badonka Gong other books yep. and stuff. So I stopped. So I only got a few chapters into it and stuff. I'm like, well, this is kind of cool to see like where he came from. Hey, if you guys like us talking about Star Wars, we talk about more Star Wars at Badonka Gong. Make sure you're checking that out. We, I, I love that. We haven't. Name. What race was uh, Mon Mothma? Did they call uh, her like a? She's a, human, Chan, but Chandrillan? she's from Chandrilla. Is the name? Sure. Of the, well, like Han's a Corellian. Yeah. Right. But yeah. like he's still just a human. Yeah. But so she's from Chandrilla. Chandrilla. Yeah. They said I that think first, it's and I, I thought of uh, Sindula, Cham mm-hmm. Sindula. And oh I was like, yeah. yeah. Wait, what they say? And then Chand- they said it again. Like, okay, that's not what I heard. Aaron Chandrilla is one of the planets that you visit in uh, Rogue Squadron for the sixty-four. Was it? Yep. Mm. I believe so. I think it's where you go to pick up Crix Maydeen. That's turning. Oh, really? I think so. Might you know what? I, I'd probably love playing through that again, because like, when I was a kid playing it, I don't know that I appreciated any of the lore stuff there. I'm like, all right, sure. got to get this guy. Help. Do, do, do. You know, I'm yeah. just doing quests. Sure. Yeah. It's always interesting to see how the lore plays out now. Definitely. Whereas like, that wasn't something I really, really looked into mm-hmm. before. Kevin, what were you saying? I forget. Damn, I'm sorry. It's okay. I love the name Clem. You know why? In high school, our main janitor, his name was Clem. And me and my friends would always stick fight. We'd get sticks, we'd sword fight with him, right? Yeah. We just had a lot of fun. He would do that with us, with his mop. Yeah. He'd show up with like his mop stick. He'd just be like, you kids with your sticks. Well, guess what? He'd be like, ah! We'd be like, here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really cool dude. He'd just like stomp the mop handle off and like break yeah. it. And he would just like, stab he would, like, he would like be mopping. He'd like throw the mop bucket at you. Holy so it's like, come in here and you'd be like, oh fuck, and you dodge and you try to block. He was a cool, fun guy. Oh my player. gosh, that's awesome. I want him to do that. He does one of those like left, right, jump, yeah. stab. <laughs> oh, so fun. One of my friends like made his own comic book where all of like the faculty would like fight each other. So like if there, he, there was a specific algebra teacher he hated and he made her like a Nazi. And then like she was gonna take him to the school and Clem came out and he like drew her like you know spinning his shit and fighting her off. Dude, awesome. he, he's like the janitor from Stargirl. <laughs> he is, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I remember what I was going to say. Yes. Colored kyber crystals. Colored kyber crystals. Well, I mean... I mean, kyber crystals have colors. They they do when they're... All the ones for the Death Star we've seen have been green. Is that what you're thinking of? Well, I was going to say the, like, sure. It's murky because we've seen colored... We've seen colored kyber crystals make different color blades haven't we yeah and we've also seen like you know in various canon things like you know Cal Kessis will pick up a crystal and depending on where the light ends up he can change the color yeah he can make sure. it what he uh, wants it to be Jin Urso from Rogue One has a kyber crystal necklace it's and it's clear and it's clear mm-hmm. slash white maybe not as pure I don't know if that would power a lightsaber or sure. not but there, the way I like to think of it is like we just don't understand how that really works. Yes. Yeah, not really. There's yeah. also like red sabers supposedly now are like bled. They have to be bled. To be turned into a red crystal. Yeah. So they would have been a normal crystal before. And but maybe, there's also been other iterations where it's just like you found the red crystal yeah. as opposed to that. Or you actually cook them. Like yeah. originally in the ODU you had to like, they were synthetic Mm-hmm. Thus, they were like anti nature, yeah, as opposed to the red real blue. kyber crystals yeah. having. And that. then now too, like I think that you can purify a red crystal as well. So I don't know what if that's. I don't Just know what the real yeah. Yeah. story of it all is yet. Now, <laughs> lore canon. Uh, Sly Moore is being invited to their party. Yeah, I don't know who that was. So you Sly Moore, I was like, who? What? Uh, you guys know uh, when Palpatine would be in the Senate? There's Masamata, the guy with the big horns. Yeah. And then Episode Three, there's Sly Moore, which is the white pale lady really pale one bald lady okay, yeah she's an umbara actually from umbara we know right. umbara from clone Man, wars that's what they look like yeah that's what they, they always look had like. those helmets on you can't really see them too yeah sure. but uh yeah so when they said sly more i was just like that's fucking cool <laughs> you know i actually saw i hope we see the dinner yeah i, I kind of want to see the dinner i, I do too I, I uh after uh uh after last week I was, you know, on Twitter and I saw someone giving their review for the first three ep- or two episodes of Andor, pretty much. Um, and they were talking like, well, what I really don't like about it is like, there's no Easter eggs. Like, fa- I need Easter eggs to really be invested in stuff, which one, I thought, like, that's dumb. But two, after watching this, <laughs> I'm just like, 
Are you paying attention? Or maybe you don't know. I don't know. Sure. It just depends what you see and <laughs> yeah. stuff, right? They're probably like, oh, finally. I got what I asked <laughs> for. Thanks, Disney. But he's sure. fucking Briar Pistol. Come on. Well, I mean, that was, and I think we talked about yeah, it on Badong Gong. Uh, we talked about it on Badong Gong at one point yeah. as well. Is like, my worry is like, as we get more and more Star Wars, I'm worried there's going to be less things that like excite me of like Easter eggs and stuff, you know? Where yeah. eventually they're going to be like, well, now we've brought most of the characters that are there. Sure. But Maybe there'll be new characters and stuff, and there'll always be something that you can have. But like the idea of Hera showing up, we've never seen a live action Hera. Yeah. If they did that, I'd be like, I'd be excited. For I that. would be too, but you know? for me, like, but it's only exciting if the thing, the primary thing that we're seeing, the the new stories, new characters. Sure. Like I, I don't want. I'm not the kind of guy that's just like, look, get your fucking Cad Bane and book a Boba Fett. I'm like, I love that, but it's because of what that adds to Boba's story, sure, right? Sure. It's the history. I agree. Sure. It's all that stuff. It's not just like, look, hey, there's a thing that I recognize, but like, you know, if you see Sly Moore interacting with these new, like, you know, Sly Moore interacting with Luthen might be really cool. Sure. Sly Moore by himself, not so much. Or yeah. herself, not so much. I think there's also a line, though, of like... Except for Sam Whitworth, I'm sorry. I think it's easier for a lot of people, maybe, for yeah. when you're, like, I know a lot of people don't like the, the sequel trilogy, right? Yeah. Like, they're coming, and they're probably wanting to see, like, Luke and Han and Leia and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. too. But when you take those people, and then you also have them integrated with new characters, yeah. to where I start to really love these new characters, but I have little hints of, like, the old characters that I already love. Sure. It kind of helps to kind of meld that together, and then it becomes more... Yeah. Of, like, like, I already I want, know Cassian. Like, you know? I do. I want you to pull on my nostalgia strings. Sure. But that needs to be in the service of raising up. The other characters, Everything else new that's characters, new characters, new stories, exactly. new planets, all that stuff. Yeah. No, I agree. But yeah, what's Mon's husband's name? Uh, Perrin, I think is what it was. Perrin. I didn't get it. There, I'm really I, as a guy that used to do a lot of trivia. I'm so happy that they literally just gave everybody a name. They gave everybody two names. But I, yeah, but I, I can't, I can't <laughs> keep track of them all. I, no, I, did, I I've done my best, but. There's been a lot of names so far. Like, the first three episodes, a lot of those characters, we didn't even see in this episode. So yeah. I'm like, are we going to see them again? We might not see them again. Other, like Bix and yeah. Marva and, you know, all that kind and of stuff. Pel and Pegla. I would say Bix, yeah. maybe, but we might not see you old Willie. <laughs> you know, with the mustache. Probably not see Willie, and we probably won't see Tim. We probably won't see Tim. You're right. Uh, Tim okay. might not be seen. No, Tim. I hope we see the dinner, because I like the idea of, like, seeing... I want to hear Mon Mothma, yeah. and I want to hear people loyal to the Empire, yeah. and, like... Is there a discussion that's like, you close your lanes, you're gonna starve people. It's like, well, actually, and I wanna hear like, what is their defense on those kind of ideas? Sure, I just sure. wanna hear the thoughts of both sides, and I'm wondering if it'd They're be done well. They're supplying rebel elements. Yeah, like I just wonder what it is. I love that, uh, when I, whenever Paragaz or whatever, Partigaz said like, security is an illusion, and you think about the first day of the empire where Emperor Palpatine, or just <coughs> Palpatine in general there, is going like, a safe and secure. Society, like mm -hmm. he sells you on this idea that the Empire is good because we're going to stop yeah. anything the Clone Wars ever happening again. We're going to yeah. make you safe and secure. But the people in charge are like, well, that's just that's just for politics. Sure, you know. Well, you have like the this Jedi who had been protecting and guardians and all yeah. this kind of stuff, and like they tried to kill me they're, and yeah, destroy they everything, yeah, everything. You know, good. so they're twisting it all there. So yeah. yeah. It really does, I think, work well with that. It's Fucking just... Fucking mining accidents. <laughs> mining disasters. Yeah, exactly. It's just so cool to get such a... Uh, not just a focus, but a very ambitious, well-done focus on the small characters in the galaxy. A lot of small characters can build up and make a difference. You yeah. know? That's going to be cool, but there's a lot of growing pain that are going to happen. And I'm assured there's going to be a lot of mistakes, a lot of death... And a lot of drama. <laughs> Bam! Hey, we are actually filming now from the present. What you just watched was us a couple weeks ago while yeah. we were watching Early Access, but now... We've had to wait so long on more We Android. had to wait, and we can get your Q&As in on this video. Q so we are recording that now and throwing that in here. So we got some Q&As from Twitter, uh, and let's talk about it. And granted, it has been a bit for, since we've watched this yes. episode. Yes, yep. Um, but there's some cool stuff in here already that I've seen. We When we watched this, we had this big, giant crew at blindwave.com watermark and uh, missed a couple things uh, in that really cool museum room because oh, yeah. I've already seen some stuff that, like, damn, I didn't even see that. Uh, all right, so... Better not be the shit that I pointed out. Adam says, in Luthen's artifact room, you can see Plo Koon's mask, 
like that kind of mask thing with his like eye, you know, thing that connects in here, which is pretty cool. It doesn't necessarily have to be Plo Koon's. Maybe is it like, like this, right? Well, it's uh, so it's the mouth and no, then it connects I, up to the eyes. You see the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, just like the eye thing that connects. It looks like a tiny thing. bikini. But it could just be a Keldor mask. It doesn't have to be Plo Koon necessarily. Sure. It would be unlikely that it would be Plo Koon's, right? Because yeah. he was destroyed in a Jedi mm-hmm. speeder. Not a speeder. Star, Star fighter. fighter. Yeah, he definitely was. Destroyed. By Jag. The clone's name was Jag. Fucking Jag. Oh, uh, and then also the question from Adam is, what is one artifact from the Star Wars universe you'd, la- you'd love to have in the Wave Cave? An artifact from the Star Wars universe? Yeah. You know, like Kylo Ren has, like, Vader... A lightsaber? Mask, just a lightsaber? Anyone would be fucking ridiculous in this universe. Think about it. You mean like a real one that goes... Psh- yeah! Oh. I mean, yeah, that's a good... I get your point. Or a fucking... X-Wing. We could fit it. <laughs> is an X-Wing an artifact? I guess so. A, like if you found it buried X-wing. under the ground, you yeah. would call it an artifact. I guess so. A vial of coaxium. That's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth a lot. Yeah. Coaxium or... Like 500 keys of coaxium? That's a lot, man. <laughs> <That's> a lot. <laughs> or K-grams, as it said. Huh. Uh, I want Yoda's gimmer stick, his little walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> you start hitting people. <laughs> I guess I can hit anyone with any stick, but I would true. be fine with any artifact, really, probably. Yeah, me too. What's one that you don't want? Um, a Sith holocron. No, I want that. That would be cool. Why not? It would be cool. It would no. corrupt your mind. No, well, I mean, no. my mind should be stronger. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it should, but it wouldn't. Uh, Christian Yancey says, with the ISB being a pivotal focus in this episode, do you think that we'll see Colonel Yularen or Agent Callus at any point this season? Callus would be great. Callus would be amazing. I'm going to say Yularen, no. You don't think? No. Mainly because voice-wise, like, I think Tom Kane, and then, I don't know, maybe you can try to do the replication of the actor who is... It'd be hard to do older Yularen, one. I, feel like, yeah. I don't. I don't know sure. how it works great, but I think you could get a new guy with burns. That's ne- you know we've never seen a live action Callus. I think you could make that work. The guy that does his voice in Rebels, fantastic. Um, but I saw a fan casting of uh, Jason Ackles. Jensen. Jensen. Yeah, Jensen would be pretty good. Jensen would be amazing. He could rock those. He rocks sideburns everywhere. Yeah. Logan Britton says, do you guys think we will lose anyone from Cassian's crew on their mission? If so, how many do you think well, yeah, will die? Yeah, probably all of them. Probably yeah, all I'm, of them. Yeah, I'm thinking at least half, Yeah, if not all. Like, yeah. I would say probably what's going to happen is they're going to do the mission, they're yeah. going to get to a certain point, and either Cassian gets separated mm-hmm. and he has to stay behind, or they leave him, Yeah, and the ship blows up with all the money. Hmm. I have and two things. He survives on the planet. Either A, yeah, maybe something like that could happen, and he just gets stuck like that. The second one is that they get into a very, very tight situation, and Cassian's the one who saves all of them because of him. And then it gets him more into like a rebellionish thing, you know? Mm. Hey, you need a guy who can get stuff done? Cassian's the guy we need, you know? So I feel like one of those two things can happen. Like maybe you have a guy or two die yeah. or get injured, and he has to really step in. Yeah. But I imagine like him being there has to be important. So it's either he gets stuck, left behind, or whatever, and he's just trying to survive, or it's his, he's the reason they succeed. Could be something like that. It's just almost a shame. I want to see that escape because it sounded so cool with the like celestial body event. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I want to yeah. see that. Uh, Adam says, I'm guessing that Cyril will now join up with the Empire, which makes me think that he will face a redemption arc this season. Do you guys think he'll turn against the Empire at any point? Uh, Karn. Cyril. Yeah. I love when people turn against the Empire. Cyril went back to, like, his mommy on Coruscant, right? (laughs) Don't say it like that. Well, he did. Come on. He did, but Oh, Cyril, it's okay. (laughs) Didn't he get fired? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's probably just where he has to go. Take comfort. No one's going to replace you. We're eliminating your position. (laughs) You did so poorly, we decided never to have someone here again. (laughs) Yeah. I think that it's the beginning story of someone that will love being in the Empire, and I really don't want a redemption arc. I would rather explore someone The true believer. Someone that feels like they're doing good work by working for a fascist Nazi Empire. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And in its simplest terms. Yeah. DT3 says, so many uh, interesting references this episode. What was your guys' favorite one? Mine was the Rakadin 
mentioned by Luthen. Rakatan. Yeah, yeah, I did like cool. that. The uh, the Empire. And there's the picture of them from Night School Republic, what they look like. With the little eyes down here. Uh, yeah. Rakatan monks, right? Mm. Uh, yeah, the, well, they're like, they were like a slave empire, I feel like, right? Well, he, he was. He specifically said that like, he called them monks. monks. Gotcha. Okay. I, I believe so. Gotcha. Okay. What was the question, though? What, what was, was your favorite? What was your favorite uh, one? The little reference that you might have seen. Like we had Star Killer. We had. Mine's still just in terms of the whole show. The pistol. The, the pistol. Yeah. yeah. The Briar pistol. Hmm. Though I did, you know, some people did link. So like, it's not the exact same model, of course. Like there was one in Battlefront, which I didn't even know about. Um, it's a different model than Kyle's, and then this one is different enough too, where it's like a third model now, but sure. it's still all in the same. That's family. what we talked about. Is like, yeah. well, maybe it could be like, you know, if this yeah. is the Mark Twelve, mm-hmm. maybe that's the Mark Ten or something. Yeah. You know? hmm. mm, mine's probably the uh, uh, Calicori. The Calicori. Yeah, yeah, that one was pretty cool. Um, I do want to point one out that we missed that I just saw here in the Q and A's. Hinbra is the first war person to show it to us. This episode had a lot of cool Easter eggs, but my favorite has to be this one. And here's the picture. Do you make oh, out? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hey, those are the symbols. For, is that the actual? We don't know if it's the actual. Well, it can't be, right? Because this. It was, yeah. So what we're looking at is this picture of the uh, Altar of Mortis uh, mural that we saw in, in Rebels, right? Sure. I mean, it's related to it. It reminds it's me related. more of the. Um, what Ezra gets from the wolves. It's yeah. like a tablet, yeah. and it has those kind of things on it, but it's yeah. not like on the mural itself or anything. So yeah, um, we have the symbol of the sun, the symbol of, uh, the, what is the daughters? Uh, I think the daughters is, is this? Daughters is offering yeah. peace, the sun is strength. And then balance and then, is the father. Yeah. So it has something with fingers, yeah. Yeah, I can't quite make it out. I think it's just kind of like a, like a standard straight up. But yeah, yeah that's crazy to see. Um, this is obviously, Something that we didn't catch, and I, I love, I love being able to It looks to like it's a, is it a zoom in things. from yeah. <clears throat> so and again, we had a kind of a huge watermark on ours, so it was a we little did. hard to see some stuff. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm definitely gonna be rewatching this episode tonight. So that's so fucking cool. What a cool thing to have in your museum, and maybe none of those people even realize just how significant that is. Sure, yeah. I'm trying to think of like it must be a separate one. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, there has rather to be, than the one that's on I mean, Lothal with the fall. wolves, you know. Oh, yeah, cool there, there's got to be more than just one mural if if this like if this teaching spreads across the galaxy, right? Mm-hmm. Like this, the the father, the son, and the daughter. Sure, it's got to be more than. It doesn't have to be about murals location. or anything either. It could be there. There wasn't a mural for like the big thing mm-hmm. they flew into. So like maybe there's like, other things that it just connects to in some way. Sure. Yeah. Like. That was just one of the locations that Ezra like punched through into that other dimension, right? Like there were other doorways and stuff too, right? Well, yes and no, because I don't know exactly how they work. But like when he reached through where Ahsoka was, like he didn't pull her where there was a wall. They were in that big no, empty yeah. area, you know. So like, yes and no. Like I imagine there's always a doorway to something, but I don't know that there's necessarily a wall there either. Sure, which is weird. Like when she saw um. Maybe, when, maybe there doesn't have to be a door when, on both sides. Yeah, but that just it just reaches to too. like a wormhole. It just reaches to another point in space. Because even when he uh, looked and saw Kanan, like that was definitely not a wall. It was on top of that fuel mm-hmm. thing, and there's you know it was big and open, and so I don't know. Yeah, really, really cool Easter egg to throw in there. I imagine when they wrote like Luthen has a collection of artifacts from all over the galaxy, like the prop makers like. All righty, let's go, baby. (laughs) Uh, Yoda the Hobbit says, who do you think is the outsider that Mon Mothma wants to bring into the circle? She didn't mention that she wants to bring someone. We talked about, could it be Bale in terms of, like, you know, making him more entrenched in in rebellion? Could it be Saw Gerrera? Could it be... uh, I don't feel like it's Saw. I don't think she would be interested in that militancy. She might be now and then realize like get to know him later yeah. <laughs> you like know how intense he is with it and stuff um i don't know like she hasn't she at this point hasn't uh left the senate or anything mm. yet so uh, bale may not be quite the one or maybe this is how bale starts yeah i don't know like i'm not we're five years before a new hope right bby uh, I feel like Bale's been fighting that whole time. I yeah, feel like no. he has too. So I don't I think, think he's he, gonna be Bale. I think he has too, but I think Mon Mothma, you know, she mentions like I even have a new bank teller. Like the Empire's everywhere. Yeah. Bale might be like, hey, I'm with you, but I can't 
meet, support that way, that type of thing. Maybe this is a a way in which he becomes more involved. Yeah. What's the old white-haired guy that was giving the briefing? The, the uh, uh, ISB captain? or No. General and, Dodonna? Was it Dodonna? Like from the, the Rebels? Mm-hmm. I thought he Dodonna was, was the young guy. He was the white-haired the guy, guy, right? Dodonna's yeah. the older man. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the other guy was... Uh, Damn, the guy that like they drew fucking whiskers on. Him, oh, right? Crick's mating. Na- yeah, mating. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think okay. that he'll turn from the Empire for a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. Um, no, I think he turns after Luke already joins mm. the rebellion. Mm. Uh, maybe an Antilles. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, have, I don't really have too many people to pull from. You think we'll get a Fulcrum mention? And, I don't I, think we'll get a Fulcrum appearance, but I think we might get a mention. Maybe. Has I, Leia been fighting this whole time? Because uh, Bale definitely she, has. She's pretty young still, though, right now. She kind of. I mean, she would be like, what, eleven? Wait, at this how, point. When Two. was uh, Obi Wan? It was how many years before? Ten. So we would have seen her around this time period in Rebels already, right? When she she appeared in that episode, and she kind of like, she's for the rebellion, yes, but just like Bale, they have to keep a huge public figure. And yeah, kind of they, they gotta stay away from that yeah. type of thing. So I don't know. I don't think you'll see anybody outright coming out, kind of like Mon yeah. Mothma starting to. I also don't want to put too high hopes on anything specifically. Yeah. Like, it could just be a new person that we don't know. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. No, but, I'm all for that as well. Or the guy that they shoot in the beginning of Rogue One. Tivik? Yeah, maybe Tim. Poor Tivik. You bring him in, and there's a long run. There's like, look, both my arms worked. <laughs> uh, Yoda the Hobbit also says wigs, costumes, alternate identities. From the trailers, I assumed the longer hair was just a flashback, but I was so wrong. Is Luthen even actually the person who Cassian met, really? How many identities might he have? Who is he? I think Luthen is the Batman, and the senator, or, or the... Guy yeah. that keeps the museum is the Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Ban- yeah, mm. Bruce Wayne. Not Bruce, okay. Bruce, Bruce Banner. Man, it's even <laughs> crazier. <laughs> Bruce Bane is cool. Um, no, I mean, I don't remember what we thought in the trailer, but I'm excited to see. I don't know how he uses his, how he uses his public figure and his like yeah. whatever he does otherwise, and like does he mentor Cassian, and what does that mean for Cassian? Because like, yeah, we never got to see Cassian doing like real real spy stuff I don't feel like he just kind of like he was there shot a guy escaped and then got Jin they looked around for people shot some more people <laughs> like you know what I mean it was more of like it wasn't like the let me put on a disguise let me sneak sure. into a place how sure. did he get the uh, what was the thing called that he stole that he oh the uh, the thing the Empire got back I forget what it's called <sighs> it was stolen from their stuff this time but that you know like how did he sneak in and get that thing it was like an engine part or something it was yeah. a navigation unit he just he walked in. He said, "Yeah." Well, yeah, but I. <laughs> he walked in, and walked out. That's what he did. I feel like did you disguise yourself too? Like that seems yeah. like more of the spy. Like I'm gonna sneak in there and sure. take stuff. And I, yeah. I think that'd be cool to see that in a imperial sense. Mm-hmm. Like when they snuck in, they dressed up and they stuck in to steal the Death Stars. Yeah. Or uh, Death Star plans. Mm-hmm. That stuff there was closer to. I just walked in. You know. Yeah. I want to see more of that. Kyle Braun says. God, this is so good. I love all the casting so much. Kyburn and the Waif from Game of Thrones. I knew I knew okay. her from somewhere. Micro yeah. from Punisher. And the location work, outstanding stuff, just on all fronts. Dialogue, set design, direction. What story are you most excited to delve further into? Mine is honest, uh, Luthen. I think Luthen mm-hmm. is the most interesting new character that we have. Um, I'm, I am really excited to also follow... Uh, I can't remember her name right now in all my notes, but the ISB agent that we saw. like Dutch. Anybody that we can look at the Empire with sympathy, but, like, you know, I don't want to look at them with sympathy. They're the, they're the bad guys, but I want to be challenged in that regard, too, right? There's sure. going to be good people fighting on both sides. It's and always best when you can understand the other side, yeah. but be like, but, but you're too far, but I'm yeah. almost with you, you know? You want to almost be with them. I think I'm most excited for Mon Mothma. Mon Mothma, yeah. Just because yeah. it's such a long like known character <laughs> that I feel like has gotten very little like actual story for that character exposure yeah like I'm sure comics maybe or books maybe dove into her a bit more but not a lot of stuff that I've experienced I guess yeah <clears throat> and I like her hair <laughs> uh, Prince of Word Over Salmon says I've seen a few people say uh, I've seen a few people who have watched the show saying they aren't enjoying it as 
it's mostly set up so far, which makes me wonder, do you think that binge culture has made people less patient with media, always wanting something big each episode, or uh, it's a waste? Definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We see that in almost every show where... I mean, Mandalorian was the same way. We're yeah. like, oh, this is a filler episode. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're traveling across the galaxy. Yeah, There's sure. lots of space there. Seeing creatures and stuff. Yeah. Having adventures on the way. And yeah. I, I had a, whenever I tweeted about Andor, I was like, I feel like it's a little bit of a slower burn like mm -hmm. type of show, but it's a spy show. You need to make sure yeah. Cassian, who is Cassian? We don't know a whole lot about him and stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of setup for it. Not but every then, spy show is 007, where yeah. the movie starts off with a chase scene. Yeah, but then it was compared to, like, Mandalorian and how slow that show was, and it was just because it had a, a little Yoda in it that anyone liked it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't think I agree with that. I feel like each yeah. episode really had some, like, fun yeah. moments, interesting things, whereas, you know, this one, like, there is some times where it's a lot of setup, but, like, the third episode had, like, a fun action yeah. scene with that crazy stuff happening, you know? Yeah. But it took episodes one and two to kind of build into that. To get us introduced to things, it's. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think me, it's an issue for me. I just. Yeah. That's why I think they released three episodes because they knew it was gonna be a little bit slower. And let's get into what's going on, you know. Yeah. I think you can pick apart if you want to, like little individual things, but. It's like watching 15 minutes of Fellowship of the Ring in a theater and being like, "Well, well, but that didn't really catch me. I'm leaving," you know. Like, sure. It's part. It's a smaller part of a larger story. Wait until the whole season's out, then make your judgments. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. I, sure. I just I, I can't stand bi the binge culture mentality, and I can't stand the ranking culture mentality. As soon as you someone says they like this, they then have to like I really like this. I'm gonna shit on Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian and tell you why I liked it. You know, it's like that. You don't have to do that. You can just enjoy something for what it is, not how it compares to other things. That I don't know. Sure, I I, 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 just, I can't take. I it. get what you mean. <laughs> I've seen people who uh, haven't really watched Star Wars but they enjoyed Rogue One because mm -hmm. it was just a different type of storytelling than a lot of yeah. the other stuff too. Yeah. But it didn't mean that you had to also tear down like original trilogy, prequel trilogy, solo, whatever, you know, in order yeah. to do mm -hmm. it. So, but no, I mean, I would say yes, binge culture has made it where it's like, I want the big stuff now and I don't want to wait for it. But that's why I'm like, let the, at least let the season go and then be like, this is why I don't like it. I don't want to watch anymore or whatever. Because at least then you have the full idea of what the story was they wanted to tell. Yeah. As opposed to taking, yeah, 15% or something of it and being like, ah, this is shit. It's like, well, how do you know? Mm -hmm. Where's it going? Maybe this buildup really means something, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Were you holding that And this is going to be a long <laughs> season, too. Yeah. What's compared, that? And this is going to be a long season compared to other... Like a six... Yeah. yeah. Instead of six episodes or whatever. With what could be, you know, I mean, we don't know this for sure, but what could be like... Uh, four arcs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew Colley says, how'd you guys like seeing the Cor uh, seeing Coruscant in the Imperial era and seeing the ISB again and seeing Mon Mothma? There's just three things that how'd you like <laughs> seeing. Uh, what do you think about, what do you think Mon Mothma is giving them money for? I think she's funding like the operation mm -hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. Like they don't have a lot of money and she's trying to get what money she can and it's getting harder yeah. and harder to do. Like, I think she's funding uh, <clears throat> Luthen's group so that they can buy off, like, Imperial officers, get equipment and supplies, like uniforms mm -hmm. and stuff for them to do this stuff so that they can bankroll their own operations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like when companies pay politicians to pass lobbies that help them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's, it's exactly it's, like that. It's like that. <laughs> Except this is like rebels trying to fight back against the terrible government. Mm -hmm. uh, D. Brandon Thomas says Deputy Inspector Karn seems to have forgotten the steady the ladder before you start climbing. Uh, that greeting his mother gave him tells me all I need to know about his ambitions. <laughs> really enjoying the show. Possibly my second favorite behind Mandalorian. Yeah, I, uh, I, I wonder where we go with Karn from here. Yeah. Yeah. It, there's just there's so many characters. I feel like well we're gonna leave some behind we already did in the fourth episode from yeah. the first three you know? yeah we did but are we going to pick back up with them later yeah, are we going to just be able to have these characters that can flit around the star wars universe i, I don't sure. know we'll see because you had the engineer dude right mm -hmm. who like tied the ship down yeah and then you had the girl too sure and mm -hmm. it's like i don't i don't know what we're gonna do with them if we come back to them and this with, 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 with <laughs> tim poor tim 
And with this being a two season, uh, you know, planned all the way up until Rogue One thing, like they can leave characters behind and bring them in much later because so, we have a this five year planned gap. So seasons one and two are supposed to fill up to Rogue One. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. That's uh, what, what I understand. Yes. I was wondering how much leeway they would leave uh-huh. to be able to have like you could have five seasons. Yeah, sure. Up. Each one's a year or something, you know. No, from so I wasn't under- sure what they would do. From what I understand, twenty-four. This is gonna be twenty-four episodes, and they they have it relatively planned out. Hmm. I guess if you do it in gaps too, you leave spots where it's like, well, here's casting could go up yeah. here somewhere else, or sure. we could make a little little story here we could. with a book or whatever. I don't yeah. Know. Hmm. All yeah. Right. So seldomly do they actually like. All right, from this year to this year, we know everything that happened to this character. Mm-hmm. Sure. So seldomly do they do that so that they can just, oh, he, he moved over here for yeah, a little story. bit, and Here's he's story. in this other story. Sure. And then you have times in movies where they mention something like, well, what was that, you know? Yeah. Like the Pit of Gundarks or whatever it was, or the that business on Kato Nemodia doesn't count, mm-hmm. and then later on you fill in the gaps. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just a really cool way to... Cause it's like a magic trick. You already think, well, I can't be surprised. I know how it ends, mm. which sets you up for really good, cool surprises. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, well, let's go back to old us. Um, yeah. To. Guys, thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Andor with us. Please come back next week. We're going to be covering it each and every week. We're super excited. Um, subscribe and, and hit subscribe. that notification bell so you don't miss out on this and other stuff. There's Tales of the Jedi coming, too. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Check out Badaka. Badaka. Twitch.tv. Badaka.